Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage mill flam bob automatic petrol lighter advertising Grant Scotch Whiskey. More precisely, eight years old Grant's Scotch Whiskey. This lighter doesn't appear to me to have ever been used. Had to drill the flint tube out when I got it. But other than that, it shows no signs of wear or damage. Very nice old advertising lighter. This lighter was made in Germany. Similar to the monopole type mechanisms. It was marked made in Western Germany. This is what I would call a slip case lighter in the way that it comes apart. Pretty cool, I had never seen this before. And there were two of these in the lot that I got them in. But they didn't have boxes or bags or anything like that. But each of them had a brush tucked away in the insert or hidden under the insert like that. underneath the slip case so anyway I thought that was a nice touch for the mill flam company to include that brush for you to clean off debris and whatever else you needed it for lighter fairly clean inside it does show some corrosion and dust not sure why that one spot there is lighter that may be exposed brass that hasn't corroded and it does show scratches scuffs that sort of light wear the flint tube has been cleared as I said and the flint spring doesn't appear to have been ground against unless my eyes betray me there you can see it for yourself there's no flint in it since I dug the flint out see the mechanism is free still has the original wick in it again light wear scratches scuffs that sort of thing if you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button. Send that link off in a text, email, post it on social media. 
however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like Dependable Flame and DependableFlame.com across all the social media platforms. That'll be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. You can see there is a thin plate covering the majority of the base. I think that is probably intended or was intended to pry out of there. How easily it would pry out now I do not know. But it wouldn't be necessary unless you had to re-wick it because you've got access to your wadding to fuel it right there. The entire insert looks very clean not a whole lot of scratches you can see those there but it's not like you're all over the side of the insert very clean very cool to find lighters that are in that good a condition and then be able to drill the flint out very easily normally there's a problem of one kind or another that I have not foreseen but we usually get around most of them make sure you get over to eBay and check out the dependableflame.com store every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA Huntington's Disease Society of America with at least 10% of each purchase going to the charity. We also have three penny start auctions each month where 100% of those listings go to the charity. I provide free shipping. High bidder pays the money. Which all goes to HDSA. They get the lighter and everybody is happy. Those last 10 days apiece, normally when one ends, the next one will begin that night or the next. I've never had Grant's Scotch Whiskey. I used to drink, don't anymore, and have drank plenty of whiskey, but not Scotch. I never understood it. I had an uncle when I was a kid who drank Chevis Regal and I got some of it on accident one time when I thought I was getting a big swig of root beer and it just always had a Listerine type mouthwash taste didn't like it It all tastes like poison to me now, though, so. But a very good, very nice lighter in very good condition. And the flint tube has been cleared. The mechanism is free. It does not have a flint in it, but a flint will be included. It appeared as though the flint tube had seized up before anybody had ever had a chance to strike the lighter. So technically, you could call this lighter unstruck, I think, but I won't be putting that in the listing. So it has had the flint tube cleared. Appears to have the original wick. Make sure while you're over at eBay that you follow or like dependableflame.com so that you get a notification each time I list a new lighter for sale. 
make sure also here on the YouTube channel that you hit the bell so that you're notified each time we publish a new video which happens to be every weekday morning Monday through Friday 8 a.m. Central holidays included we do not typically publish videos on the weekend but will on occasion if I have an article I'm writing or a video I need to get up to link to a listing or something of that nature very cool lighter that as opposed to the way we normally end things around here I'm not gonna get to slam this one shut because I'm not gonna grind that file wheel on the tip of that flint spring until next time